Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about the macOS Sonoma 14.4 Developer Beta 2 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Apple today seeded the second beta of an upcoming macOS Sonoma 14.4 update to public beta testers, allowing non-developers to test the software ahead of its launch. The second public beta comes a week after Apple released the first public beta to update your Mac to Mac OS Sonoma. 14.4 Developer Beta 2, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section and then check for updates. Here you can see the update is available for my device. This Mac OS Sonoma 14.4 Developer Beta 2 update size is around 2.29 gigabit for my device. Click on Update Now and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sonoma 14.4 Beta 2, and the build number is 23E5191E. Starting with this build, we don't know what Mac-specific features are included, but nothing new has been found in the developer betas so far. Now moving forward and talking about the macOS Sonoma 14.4 Beta 2 release notes. The macOS 14.4 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sonoma 14.4 Beta 2. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 15.3, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding AppKit resolved issues, fixed an issue where center or right aligned NS text field appears blurry. Fixed resolves an issue where pointer style does not update when browsing in Safari. Regarding Core ML new features, ML program models that are loaded with ML compute units.cpu only will use a new high performance CPU backend that takes advantage of Accelerate Framework's BNNS library. Regarding Create ML resolved issues, fixed. When using the transfer learning algorithm option, the Create ML app and framework object detection template might fail to converge and cause poor model quality and produce more than expected false positives. Regarding Finder Resolved Issues, Fixed resolves an issue where tiling a window causes the desktop picture to turn black. Regarding Messages Known Issues, Stickers, Memoji and Third Party might appear blank. Regarding Software Updates Known Issues, Updates to macOS 14.4, starting from macOS 12.3.1, will not work. Workaround, Update to macOS 12.4 or later, and then update to macOS 14.4. Regarding StoreKit new features, you can use the Product Description Hidden API to configure the visibility of product descriptions in Product View, Store View, and Subscription Store View instances within a view hierarchy. When building with Xcode 15.3, you can use this view modifier even if your app is running on iOS 17.0, iPadOS 7.0, macOS 14.0, tvOS 7.0, watchOS 10.0, visionOS 1.0, or later. If you implement your own product view style, you can support this new view modifier by checking the description visibility property on the configuration value. You can use subscription store view to present promotional offers by adding the subscription promotional offer modifier. If you're already using in-app purchase options modifier to support promotional offers for store kit views, you should adopt the new API instead when your app is running on iOS 17.4 iPad OS 17.4, Mac OS 14.4, tvOS 17.4, watch OS 10.4, vision OS 1.1 or later. Do not use both APIs to apply a promotional offer for the same view. Regarding store kit resolved issues, fixed. The is eligible for intro offer property and is eligible for intro offer for method now reflect ineligibility in cases where a customer would otherwise be eligible for the offer if they weren't actively subscribed. This means a customer which is not currently eligible for an introductory offer may become eligible in the future. Customers who redeem an introductory offer for a given subscription group will continue to never be eligible for another introductory offer in that subscription group. You can detect this case this by checking if any one transaction with a matching subscription group ID has the type property on offer set to introductory. Regarding SwiftUI new features, Table now supports dynamic numbers of columns with the new table column for each. 
regarding SwiftUI resolved issues, fixed date picker in macOS reset focus to the first date component when its bound date changes and time zone is overridden in the environment. Regarding weather known issues, weather might crash on launch on Intel macOS hardware. So, that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical to the previous one. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.